Things are a little different this year. A little different and a little distant. They say it's unprecedented. We say it's a chance to show our strengths through innovation, ingenuity, patience, and generosity. Things Knights are known for. Your time at UCF ended differently than we all thought it would. No pomp, no circumstance, and no hard-earned, well-deserved walk across the stage. At least, not yet. But here's the thing, that walk doesn't make you a knight. You've always been a knight, ever since you stepped on campus, maybe long before then, and nothing will ever change that. You have years of experiences that no one can take away from you. Exciting memories, inspiring moments, challenging triumphs, and dreams come true. Unbeaten, 13 and 0. No one will ever have the same college experience as you, and that's a wonderful thing. Classes beginning for the first time at UCF Downtown. The 15-acre campus is the new home to more than 20 degree programs. The future is yours to shape too. No matter what your focus was in the classroom, you are now a better version of yourself, ready to make an impact right here in our community. UCF has handed out free take-home food for families in need. Across the country. Limitless Solutions is 3D printing parts for masks for first responders around the world. We have scientists, we have engineers, we have others who could be thinking about how do you test, how do you diagnose, how do you cure? And out beyond the stars. Determined to return to the moon by 2024, UCF is a critical part of that plan. Right now, we celebrate you, the class of 2020, in the best way we can, and simply ask that you take care of yourself and others. Stay strong, stay curious, and as always, charge on. Welcome to the 160th commencement exercise of the University of Central Florida. I'm Dr. Yu Cheng Wang, Dean of the Rosen College of Hospitality Management. To begin our ceremony, our vocalist, Jose Velas, and our organist, Andrew Walker, will lead us in singing our national anthem. <laughs>
Mr. President, the spring 2020 graduation class of the University of Central Florida's Rosen College of Hospital Management are virtually assembled. Thank you, and thank you all for being with us online today. Obviously, this virtual commencement is not our preferred way to honor your achievements, but given the new realities the pandemic has forced upon our community, nation, and the world, we do hope we are able to provide some recognition worthy of your successes until such time as we can do so in person. This is a big milestone in the lives of our graduates. And I am very pleased that so many friends, family members, and guests have joined us virtually to help celebrate their accomplishments. It took a lot of hard work for them to get to where they are, and I am honored to reward them with the degrees and certificates they are here to receive. They, are, they have definitely earned them. I know you are proud of your graduates, and I also know that a good part of their success is because of your love and support. Family and friends, thank you for all you have done to help get them this far, and for all you will continue to do. Today is a celebration of your success, too. Before we continue, I would like to acknowledge some special members of the UCF family who may not be with us online today. UCF's brave men and women who have been called away to active military duty. I would also like to acknowledge two additional groups of graduates. Graduating members of our ROTC programs who have just been, or are about to be, commissioned as officers in our armed forces, and our graduating student veterans. All of these graduates deserve our special thanks and congratulations. To UCS faculty, you are the foundation of our great institution and mentors to the next generation of pioneers and innovators. Thank you for your contributions and impact. The dedication you and all educators have displayed during this pandemic is nothing short of amazing. Our commencement speakers today probably need no introduction to Night Nation. Identical twins Shaquem and Shaquille Griffin both received their Bachelor of Arts in Human Communication from UCF in 2016. Growing up, both excelled in football and track, and of course, went on to play together here at UCF. Shaquem was a two-year starter at outside linebacker. As a senior in 2017, he helped the team to a 13-0 record, a Chick-fil-A Peach Bowl victory over Auburn, and a national championship. He was selected as the Chick-fil-A Peach Bowl defensive MB MVP, named American Athletic Conference Defensive Player of the Year, and a two-time first-team all-conference honoree. Shaquille was a two-year starter at cornerback for the Knights, earning all-conference honors in 2016. His 15 passes broken up as a senior were the second most by a Knight in a single season, and he ranked fifth in the nation in passes defended. In 2017 NFL Draft, he was selected 90th overall by the Seattle Seahawks and was named to his first Pro Bowl in 2019. Shaquem joined Shaquille with the Seahawks in 2018 when he was picked by Seattle in the fifth round of the draft. Active in their community and an inspiration to people everywhere, they embody the spirit of Night Nation. Please welcome, by video, Shaquem and Shaquille Griffin. What's up, Night Nation? Class of 2016 here, Shaquem and Shaquille Griffin. And first and foremost, I want to say congratulations to everybody that's graduating this year's class. I also want to say thank you to UCF for giving me and my brother this opportunity to uh, speak this year, commencement speech. Um, definitely an honor. And uh, today, you know, I thought about writing a speech down. You know, you usually do, but um, 
I want to be authentic. I want to be real. And, you know, so I'm here, no pain, no paper, just me. And um, first thing I want to talk about is just real life and real life after graduation. You know, and the first thing, you know, first you got to know your worth. You know, know your worth, know the sacrifice you made to get here today to graduate. And you all earned it. You all deserve it. So uh, going out there, I want to say, well, I want to tell you guys a little story. Uh, I'm going to revolve around athletics because it's the easiest way for me to express how I feel. So um, you guys just bear with me for a little bit. Um, I remember leaving high school, attending my first year at uh, the University of Central Florida. And um, I was on my high horse, you know, I was on cloud nine, just felt like I was that guy. You know, I came from high school, you know, well-known guy in high school, he was that dude. And um, I got comfortable with that, you know, and that's who I thought I was. And attending UCF, you know, you start to go through different scenarios and, and hardships, you know, through college. And all you guys can relate, you know, it's always been some hard times in college. And um, so going through my freshman year, my sophomore year, heading to my junior year, I hit a little wall. And this wall caused me to forget who I was, uh, forget the worth that I thought I had. And, and it put me in a position where I felt like I couldn't finish. I thought I was going to make it. And I had second thoughts about who I would become or who I am becoming. And, um, you know, and it's kind of cool to tell the story because, you know, my brother being the guy that he is and he motivates so many people, he doesn't even know that, you know, he's one of my biggest motivation. You know, going into my senior year, his junior year, you know, him finally getting the opportunity to play for the first time. You know, if most people do know our story, you know, you kind of know everything that he went through, you know, since he was a child, you know, attending UCF and uh, just see him get the opportunity and take full advantage of it because he always knew his worth. He never got his worth. Everything that he'd been through, he overcame it because he always knew who he were, who he was, should I say, I'm sorry. And um, that kind of brought the light back to who I was and who I am. You know, I, I figured out who I wanted to be and I found my worth. You know, I knew I was gonna be something great and I had to believe in that. And the uh, only thing I could ever ask for was the opportunity, just like he asked for. And um, I knew once I got the opportunity, I was gonna take full advantage of it. So um, the main thing is never forget your worth. You know, to this day, I will never forget again. And you guys should never forget your worth because look where you're at today. You made it this far to graduate and you deserve that. And uh, now it's time for you to just find your purpose. What's the reason why you do all this? What's the reason why you sacrifice so much time, so much time away from family, you know, to be able to get this next exam done? Make sure you have the best grades so you can achieve whatever you want to achieve. You know, so find your purpose, find what makes you happy, find what you love, and you take full advantage of it. And remember, being the UCF Knight, all we ever needed was opportunity. And, you know, and being a fellow alumni, that's all we ever needed, and then you take full advantage of it. You know, uh, I feel like there's no one better than UCF, and uh, I feel like we are the future. So let's continue to be great. Let's continue to, you know, strive for a better tomorrow. And uh, let's do it. You know, you deserve it all. Now I let my brother take it off from here. Um, yeah, well, that's a tough one to come behind. Um, I want to say thank you to UCF and fellow alum and future alum for allowing my brother to do this commencement speech. Um, yeah, it's a, it's a lot I can say. I mean. Coming to UCF, man, being a young pub, and I know what was going on. But one thing I can say about UCF is it allowed me to figure out who I was. It allowed me to experience certain things, certain, certain things like adversity. And not only adversity, but, you know, certain pleasures as opposed to, you know, meeting new friends, new family, being a part of a, a great nation, like Night Nation. Um, UCF did so much more than just being on the school campus and seeing and seeing the beautiful scenery and being in Orlando. UCF brought brotherhood to me. It brought family to me. It brought so much more than I would never have thought to accomplish or gain at a school. Um, you no, know, it's so crazy right now. I thought about writing a speech, but I did not. I thought about getting help from my agents or somebody else let me write it. But it wouldn't be true to me and to you unless you heard my words and how I felt. And I felt that y'all should hear from the heart. And all just aside, I'm in like a half suit right now, and I appreciate you guys at home comfortable. And it's like wondering why we, you know, doing the commencement speech over the phone, but, you know, doing this, you know, very, very serious topic. And, you know, with the coronavirus and everything, make sure we all practice uh, social distancing. Um, 
But yeah, man, we want to make sure that you you hear from us. And the one thing I really want to talk about is adversity. And I think adversity made me who I am, who I am today. Um, just to put more into it, don't let adversity dictate who you're going to be. I mean, this is a time in your life where you're going into the real world, as what our parents would say. But take advantage of every opportunity you get. Don't allow obstacles and different barriers that's going to be in your way to dictate who you're going to be and what kind of person that you want to set out to show everybody. Um, just to give you an example, you know, just come out of college. You know, I didn't know how I was going to go. I didn't know how the job was going to be. I didn't know where I was going to be at. You know, by the grace of God, I got an opportunity to be back with my brother. You know, the best feeling that you can ever get. And even through that time, I felt like, you know, everything was going my way. I felt like everything was figured out until it wasn't. You know, I experienced a lot of adversity during my first year in the league. But that was just something that I needed to go through. That was something that taught me. That's something that built me to be a better person. But I wouldn't know how to do that unless I was an alumni of UCL. What separates us from everybody else in other schools, the other nations, is that we're strong. We know adversity, we felt it before, and we know what to do when it comes. You beat it, you fight it, and you attack it every single day. It comes at you, and you become a better person, a better you. Now, through the adversity, you always gotta learn how to be strong. You always gotta know when things get hard, you fight even harder. And that's one thing I want you, I want you all to take with you. Don't let adversity, don't let obstacles stop you from being great. Don't let obstacles stop you from helping the next person out to you. Look to your left and look to your right and know that you got people behind you supporting you and always know that you're never alone. I got you, Night Nation got you. We all got each other, so always remember that. And one thing I want all of you to take with you, while you're leaving this beautiful campus and you can't come back unless you're coming for more schooling, help somebody out. Be great, change the world. That's what we're here for. That's what we came to UCL for, because we wanted to help, we wanted to change the world, we wanted to make the world a better place. If I know I can help one person, that one person can help 10, and that 10 can help that thousand later. So with your help, with your greatness, the Night Nation greatness, let's make the world a better place. And I appreciate sure be seeing all of you out there, Night Nation, fellow alum, congratulations. I'll be seeing you soon. And one more thing. Night Nation being the best nation, we refuse to be put in a box or be categorized and think that what we can't be and what we will be, let's continue to be great because we are great and we are this future. So like my brother said, let's change the world. Go next. Thank you, Shaquem and Shaquille. Your example motivates us to charge on. And now, the exciting time in our program when degrees are conferred and we read our graduates' names. Given the number and diversity of names at UCF, we apologize if there are any mispronunciations. Will Dr. Michael Johnson, Interim Provost and Vice President for Academic Affairs, please commence with the conferral of degrees. The doctoral degree represents the highest academic achievement a person can earn. To receive the doctorate, candidates must demonstrate proficiency through advanced graduate coursework and examinations, and demonstrate to their university professors and peers that they can engage in substantive research that adds to the body of knowledge in their fields of study. Dr. Elizabeth Klonoff, Vice President for Research and Dean of the College of Graduate Studies will present the candidates for the doctoral degree. Mr. President, on behalf of the Dean and the faculty, I am pleased to present these candidates for the degrees for which they qualify and recommend that they be conferred. Thank you, Dr. Klonoff. Candidates, by virtue of the authority vested in me by the state of Florida and with the concurrence of the UCF Board of Trustees, I confer upon you the degree for which you have been recommended and for which you have qualified with all the rights and responsibilities thereto appertaining. Congratulations. The hooding ceremony is traditional for the conferral of a doctoral degree. The hood is a UCF hood, as its black and gold colors denote, and the velvet represents the field of study. Regrettably, we cannot perform the ceremony at this time but we will read the names of those who have qualified for this distinction.
Ying Chao. Stephen Kyle Height. To all of our doctoral candidates, congratulations. Dr. Elizabeth Klonoff, Vice President for Research and Dean of the College of Graduate Studies, will present the candidates for the master's degree. Mr. President, on behalf of the Dean and the faculty, I am pleased to present these candidates for the degrees for which they qualify and to recommend that they be conferred. Thank you, Dr. Klonoff. Candidates, by virtue of the authority vested in me by the state of Florida and with the concurrence of the UCF Board of Trustees, I confer upon you the degree for which you have been recommended and for which you are qualified with all the rights and responsibilities thereto appertaining. Congratulations to those who have earned this distinction. Nicole Renee Adams, Laura Baraki, Andrea Brennan Williams, Shelby Diane Brent, Colin B. Calloway, Francesco Catarsi, Leanne Gabriel Chanin Santiago, Bruno Colavecchio Jr., Amber Borgella Crawford, Andrea Crystal Cucuda, Anna Michelle Cunningham, Sinclair Danielle Cushmore, Roya Diaz do Rosario de Pinto, Kyle Edward Don, Cassandra Marie Duran, Brenda Yannette Fernandez, Timothy Martin Giacconi, Maria Hayworth, Brianne Morgan Hereford, Rebecca Marie Inderhees, Crystal Shanique Jackson Provincio, Rebecca Michelle Johns, Francesca Ming Kenzerbach, Angeli K. Marcasi, Valentina Monique Joe, Lauren Jill McGregor, Petra Bianca Merrick, Kenneth Mina, Kaylin Ann Mantle Pat, Jason Travis Pat, Alyssa Beatrice Ponti, Rashawn Antonio Roden, Devon Nicole Rangenberg, Blakely R. Sutton, Darby Elizabeth Thomas, Elena Tenachi, Jing Wen Chow, Jonathan A. Van Dyke, Charles F. Wickbolt. Will Dr. Yu Cheng Wang, Dean of the Rosen College of Hospitality Management, present the baccalaureate candidates from the college? I'm proud to present the baccalaureate candidates from the Rosen College of Hospitality Management. Interim Provost Johnson, it is my pleasure to recommend that these students be granted the degrees for which they qualify. Thank you, Mr. President. The baccalaureate candidates have been recommended for graduation by the dean and faculty of their college. I concur with these recommendations and present the candidates to you for the awarding of degrees. By virtue of the authority vested in me by the state of Florida and with the concurrence of the UCF Board of Trustees, I confer upon you the degree for which you have been recommended and for which you have qualified with all of the rights and responsibilities thereto appertaining. We will begin with our honor recognitions. These names are available in the online program. A printed version will be mailed to graduates with your diploma. Will Dr. Sheila Amin Gutierrez de Pinieres, Dean of the Burnett Honors College, start us off, followed by Dr. Johnson. The Burnett Honors College, which represents the top students at UCF, is committed to cultivating talent and inspiring excellence. Burnett Honors Scholars are prepared to not only tackle the future, but also fundamentally change it. They further the intellectual mission and the tenets of the UCF creed through their outstanding accomplishments. To those students who are graduating with university honors or who completed honors undergraduate thesis, congratulations. We are very proud of our distinctive LEAD Scholars Academy, the only one in the state university system and one with few peers across the country. 
During their years at UCF, LEAD scholars have a unique opportunity to engage in the academic study of leadership, to lead others, and to serve our community. To these students, please accept our congratulations. Honor medallions are presented to the students who have achieved the highest grade point averages in their colleges. To these students and their families, thank you and congratulations. We are also very proud of our Distinguished President's Leadership Council, whose members are selected on the basis of scholarship, leadership, service, and the ability to function as ambassadors and hosts for the university. Thank you to our graduating President's Leadership Council members, and congratulations. And lastly, in 2001, the university established the Order of Pegasus, an honor that recognizes outstanding senior and graduate students who have demonstrated overall excellence in university involvement, leadership, academic achievement, and community service. Because of the breadth of accomplishments required for this award, the Order of Pegasus is the most prestigious and significant student award that can be attained at the university. These names, along with the names of all of our honor graduates, are available in the online program and the printed version that will be mailed to graduates with their diplomas. Thank you and congratulations. We will now recognize the top honor graduates, followed by the baccalaureate graduates from the Rosen College of Hospitality Management in alphabetical order, followed by closing remarks from the Honorable Kyla Gray, student body president and a member of the UCF Board of Trustees, and President Cartwright. Congratulations, graduates. Again, Vu Li Tron. Sasoni Abadi, Nicholas Albert Abdullah, Minerales Mariel Ebru, William Joshua Adderley, Guy Joseph Affick, Fantasia Renee Alexander, Sarah Jean Alexanderson, Lee Russell Alhanti, Hannah Ashlyn Allison, Shaden A. Ella Tobie, Bruno Anthony Alva, Chloe Marie Anderson, David William Andrews III, Laura Abolita, Grace Ann Ashby, Daniel Joseph Oster, Anain Ayeb, Jessica Lynn Babbitt, Bryn Nicole Bagley, Brandon John Belasco, Mallory Jane Baldwin, Shannon Sarah Barry, Alexis Danielle Belcastro, Amanda Rose Bentz, Lindsay Bernstein, Sarah Elizabeth Beto, Kristen Elizabeth Bielfeld, Emily Nicole Bissonette, Rachel Ann Blair, Joseph Michael Balbot, Sage Renee Bologna, Jillian Hope Boss, Taylor Michelle Boyd, Rachel Marie Brandon, Stephanie Brown, Brianna Caitlin Bruno, Sarah Emily Bryce, Brendan Michael Brzezinski, Ann Lee Tebui, Morgan James Birch, Thomas James Burnett, Javier Julian Bustos, Tabitha Marie Butler, Aldo Canton, John Ignatius Cadillo III, Rebecca Lynn Carlisle, Lorena Carrion, Natalie Marie Caudle, Jadel Augustine Brandon Celestine, Emily Alexander Chang, Zachary Thomas Chapman, Terrell Devon Cherisher, Lily Jean Chin, JC Ann Chun, Jessica Scioto, Alexandra Ann Sizek, 
Ashley McKenzie Clifford, Haley Morgan Coates, Courtney Elizabeth Coleman, Grace Raina Colley, James B. Conover, Lauren Marie Cookley, James Lowell Cooper, Benjamin Bernard Cooperson III, Kaysen Martin Dahl Cornell, Maria Clara Costa Macedo, Owen Scott Cowley, Kyle Michael Cox, Morgan Alexandra Cox, Sarah J. Cruz, Amy Lynn Quick, Kylie Leanne Dance, Eliana Rhea Daniels, Garrett William Daniels, Catherine Susan Davis, Samantha Ruth Davis, Lynn Stayot, Emmeline Grace Dean, Guadira Daniela Dean, Joseph Edmund Debelek, Leslie Renee Del Toro, Maviel De La Toro, Pooja Ramesh Desai, Cheyenne Elizabeth DeVore, Aida Michelle Diaz, Demi Rose Diaz, Monica Diaz, Daniela Di Batista, Lauren Catherine DeSalvo, Sarah Claire Doni, Ketty Charles Dumornay, Anna Masadia Dunga, Reagan Lynn Durkin, Savannah Nicole Ekstrom, Tyler Scott Edwards, Ivana Elliston, Julie Ann Ellis, Yvonne Matthew Emerson, Natasha Lee Estramera, Haley Elizabeth Fabricio, Catherine Rose Felice, Daniela Maria Fernandez, Gabrielle Lee Fish, Catherine Elizabeth Fisher, Nicole Charid Flores, Sydney Irene Frato, Michelangelo Forfaro, Zachary Stephen Galati, John Edward Marshall Gallagher, Gregory Vincent Gandhi, Eddie Albert Ganzi, Kevin Alexander Garcia, Simon Garcia, Miriam Margarita Garcia Espinosa, Kaylin Christine Garman, Courtney Giardina, Christian Alexander Gill, Asha Catherine Gilrith, Andrea Victoria Genorio, Michael Paul Gisclair, Joshua Eric Gluck, Maria Andrea Gomez, Francis Nicole Good, Olivia Brooke Gottman, Alexis Sierra Grant, Paisley Lynn Guerrero, Ashley Lauren Gregory, Nicole Laura Gulon, Raphael Gulon, Alyssa Marie Gui, Javen Miguel Gutierrez, Samantha Noel Hammer, Dory Hanada, Elena Celeste Harmon Sanchez, Elise Elizabeth Harris, Shay Nelly Hall, Jeanette Hernandez, Bethany Rose Higgins, Jeffrey Kyle Hoffer, LG Hokoma, Jennifer Lucia Hotard, Lauren Elizabeth Hawk, Marlena Ann Hawk, Delandra Omar Hawk, Jeffrey Ryan Hubbard, Jamie Lynn Hookler, Ryan James Hunnick, Joseph Tyler Hunnick, Paige Austin Hyman, Tania Imani, Robert Harold M. Jr., Michael Francis Interlegio, Nicole Itz Itzkowitz, Kaylin Louise Jackson, Denise Jimenez, Adam Timothy Kaproswitz, 
Karina Amelise Kaplan, Autumn Lynn Kelly, Lorraine Nicole Kelly, Kristen Kitty, Brooke Lee Kenke, Kelsey Ann Kosturko, Jessica Ann Kozlowski, Mikta Kulish, Lucia Guo, Tucker Jonathan Kurth, Juliana Marie Lombarbera, Jacob Carol Leno, Vilner Laurent, Kaylin Elizabeth Laystrom, Victoria Rose Lee, Aaron Joseph Lehman, Kathleen Teresa Leonard, Latian Lee, Michelle Carey Litsky, Alex Joseph Lennon, Carly Alexis Livermore, Austin James Locke, Lucas Foster Lowers, Andrea Daniela Lozano, Grayson Elizabeth Lutke, Julian Aaron Maniego Macaspec, Kayla Rose Magrini, Mia Lauren Majewski, Matthew Francis McRansky, Melanie Ray Malashevsky, Nikki Stella Mamon, Christine Marie Mercano, Miles H. Marks, Julia A. Marquez, Kaylin Rose Martin, Nicole Gabriela Martinez, Tanier Maurice Matthews II, Natalie Giovanna Mora, Nicholas Duval Mayer, Kevin Reed Maynard, Abigail Lynn McCrimmon, Sean Lynch McGinty, Clement Preston Ramon McIntosh, Gervonta Monet McIntosh, Sydney Marie McKenzie, Gloria M. Mejia, Nicholas Mejia, Natalia Melendez Barrero, Vanden Sky Menning, Vincent Messina, Marley Brianne Messner, Matthew Medhat Michiel, Alexis Joyce Miller, Jennifer Ruth Miller, Joshua Michan, Courtney Mitchell, Nathaniel McCandy, Haley Marie Montelanos, Nicole Moreno, Jason D. Moss, Corey Allen Moser Jr., Melissa Henson Narciso, Laura Danielle Nassif, Gregory Michael Norman, Elena Noren Anavas, James Patrick Neal, Montgomery Alden Nelson, Alice Nguyen, Tu Comp Nguyen, Madison M. O'Brien, Sydney E. O'Connor, Alim Abed Omar, Eric Luis Ortiz Jr., Sofia Osorio, Kaylin Sabrina Palermo, Catherine Kelly Palmer, Clayton Matthew Pillot, Evangeline Grace Pent, Kailona Elizabeth Perdue, Amanda Maria Perez, Sofia Alexandria Perez, Amanda Victoria Perez Luis, Kayla Luis Denise Peterson, Molly Ann Peterson, Usfan Pien, Cassidy Christine Pierce, Demandra Janelle Pierre, Cameron B. Pilts, Charles Wood Pittman IV, Nicole A. Pizarro Otero, Sylvia Eileen Porash, Kayla Rochelle Porter, Brianna Christina Price, Karen Parachinyanko, Danielle Dalton Fuentes, Samantha Marie Julio, Isabella Sofia Purpuro, Abigail Lynn Raymond, Joshua Michael Redmond, Nathan Taylor Ryan Steltley,
Kimberly Ellen Root, Annie Reyes, Austin James Reynolds, Christopher T. Rhodes, Emily Danielle Rose, Brenna Elizabeth Rich, Jordan Brooke Richards, Paula Gabriela Rios, Amanda Lillian Roach, Ignacio Rodriguez Bravo, Elena Nicole Rodriguez Rivera, Kayla Denise Ross, Justin Rowland, Solianis Ruiz, Teresa Ariana Salazar, Samantha Alexis Solomon, Sebastian Sanabria, Gemma Gabriela Sanchez, Samantha Ann Santoro, Peyton Chase Sharinger, Spencer Devon Harrington Shire, Kayla Nicole Scogamillo, Jennifer Pat Sell, Kathleen Ann Semler, Katharina Serenyenko, Yo Chang Chen, Jamie Sinclair Shepherd, Nadia Linnaeus Schumann, Ann Lynn Simmons, Raquel Lanique Simmons, David William Simpson, Jessalyn Evangeline Sipes, Mariangel Solarte, Nicole Aaron Soto, Ashley Stalvi, Elizabeth Ann Stout, Emma Lillian Abbott Stovall, Anna Stephanie Platman Stoichev, Savanki Anil Swali, Christopher Brian Tenberg, Chen Tang, Jennifer Elaine Taylor, Mika J. Thomas, Brad Donald Thompson, Abigail Lynn Thornburg, Kayla Ray Thuman, Ethan Scott Tingleman, Julia Catherine Turpeck, Shannon Marie Torrance, Robert James Tucson, V. Tran Tran, Reagan Meredith Frant, Emily Janine Trenton, Julia Rose Uccello, Emily Janine Uraburu, Kayla Samir Vakil, Brennan Michael Veleski, Sebastian Velasquez, Jacqueline Claire Venegas, Claudia Ruth Verbas, Andres Vidal, Maria Silvana Bisbal, Valeria Alexandra Vizcaya, Jordan Lee Waldenfels, Sarah Kittlin Walker, Damien Anthony Walters, Nanette Elizabeth Waltower, Oyong Wang, Samantha Ashley Ward, Zachary Scott Weasel, Taylor Morgan Weaver, Jessica K. Weber, Daniel Reed Weber, Samantha Nicole West, Nikki White, Nicole Adele Whitaker, Tyler Benjamin Wilcox, Alexis Haley Wilkerson, Merrill Orion Wilkinson, Star Lynn Wilt, Megan Danielle Winkleman, Bailey A. Wood, Cimarron Rose Woods, Carly Lynn Wright, Karen Lee Wu, Haley Nicole Yakowski, Pablo Adrian Yakaza, Mangajia Juan, Natalia Zapula, Julian Zhang, Zetian Zhang, Cindy Lorenza Zuleta, Yi Zhu. Hello, friends, colleagues, and most importantly, graduates of the spring 2020 class of the University of Central Florida. While I understand that this is not the ceremony you expected, or frankly, the ceremony you wanted, 
here we are, and I am right here with you. Here we sit in front of you, still able to recognize your contributions to our beloved UCF. And even in the midst of the chaos that has overtaken our country and planet, this is your day. Your day to reflect on all the things you have accomplished, but most importantly, a day to eye further and to ponder on the things you will and want to accomplish. Each of us has a unique story. And at UCF, we celebrate this diversity. We acknowledge the fact that we have all come from different backgrounds to be here and have all overcome unique barriers and constraints throughout our college careers. And this COVID-19 pandemic is one of them, but I assure you that it will not be the last. Nonetheless, everyone sits in this room under the same title, graduates of the spring 2020 class of the University of Central Florida. I have always said that the best part about attending UCF is the fact that we are part of a story, a book if you will, that is not yet finished. Today, you are authors in your own right. And while your pen has metaphorically run out of ink on this chapter, your book and UCF's book is far from finished. As a graduate, a new chapter is now to be written as your new role as an alumni. And with this new role, you have now earned a very special platform. You should use this platform to pursue your passion and to bring positive change to the world around us. This commencement marks the beginning of a great journey that starts today, and you should be looking forward to many more. At this historical moment, you have the opportunity to scale new heights, to do more, to be better, and to charge on with a conviction to serve and make our world a better place. Paired with your passion, serve this world in your own unique way. And never forget your alma mater, the University of Central Florida. It has been said that the best is yet to come for our beloved UCF. And while that is definitely the case, the best is yet to come for all of us as well. Charge on proudly as a UCF Knight now and forevermore. Congratulations. We are living in extraordinary times, and the class of 2020 finds itself in an unprecedented historical moment. The fact that we are unable to safely join together in person today as planned to celebrate your milestone is a reflection of this new reality. We do hope we will be able to do that soon. But until then, I'd like you to reflect on what I'm beginning to understand as the defining spirit of this young institution. The motto at UCF is reach for the stars. People talk about having a one and oh approach to tomorrow. And when someone says, go Knights, I always hear the reply, Charge on. I know these are more than catchy phrases. They sum up a philosophy at UCF. When you say, reach for the stars, it's a call to push oneself to dream big, to refuse to be limited by what others say is possible. When people say, want to know, they mean that when you achieve a goal, set a new one, a harder one, cherish the victory, but don't rest on it. Reset because the next challenge awaits. And when, like now, there are obstacles, when there are an in inevitable setbacks, charge on. Some call that perseverance or grit, but from what I've seen of this great university, it's just part of what it means to be a knight. UCF is a place where defying odds is not the exception, it is the expectation. So take this place with you as you go out to change the world. You are needed now more than ever. We will close our ceremony by singing the alma mater. Thank you for joining us for today's commencement ceremony. Go Knights, charge on. All hail to all the
Fellow Knights, Nicole Stott here, wishing you happy graduation. Not the commencement you planned on, I know, but life is always an adventure. I hope that uh, you go forth and do great things, and always remember that we live on a planet, we are all Earthlings, and the only border that matters is that thin blue line of atmosphere that blankets and protects us all. So live like crew, not passengers here on Spaceship Earth, and I wish you all the best. Hi, I'm Orange County Mayor Jerry Demings. Congratulations on your recent graduation from the University of Central Florida. We're very proud of you. We look forward to working with each of you. I know that things are different this year, but I offer you this bit of advice. Pray first, aim high, and stay focused. Hi, I'm Orlando Mayor Buddy Dyer, and I want to congratulate the UCF Class of 2020 on your graduation. We know that you'll do great things as you embark on your next step in your life. And you'll make your alma mater proud. I want you to know your mayor is proud of you and your community is proud of you. I'm honored to be able to wish you my sincere congratulations during this special time in your life. Best wishes, Knights. Charge on. Hola, Knights. Cindy Morales Muniz, Director of HSA Culture and Partnerships at UCF in Class of 2013, Doctorate in Educational Leadership. My advice? Continue to seek out opportunities for professional growth. Learning never stops. Congratulations, muchas felicidades, y vamos nights. What's up guys, it's Taco Fall. Um, first, I hope that all of you are healthy, I hope that your families are healthy and doing good as well. Um, I just wanted to congratulate y'all on graduation. Um, that's a huge milestone, that's a huge accomplishment, something that you all should be really proud of. Go out there and make the world a better place. And uh, welcome to the UCF Alumni Club. Congratulations to the class of 2020. You guys have been a part of more wins and more championships than any class in the history of UCF. Hey, Night Nation. This is Coach Bear with UCF Softball. Congratulations to our 2020 graduates. You guys have worked hard, and it's a huge accomplishment to be earning your degree, and we are so proud of you that you're representing Night Nation and going out. We are so, so proud of you for everything that you've done. And remember, once a night, always a night. Go forth and do as well in life as you did representing the black and gold. Congratulations, class of 2020, and I wish you the very best of luck. Go Knights! Go Knights! Go Knights! Go Knights! Go Knights! And charge on! Happy graduation! We love you! Congratulations, Knights Class of 2020. We're very proud of you. A special congratulations to our daughter, Asha, hospitality management major. Congratulations on graduating. We welcome you to the Rosen College family. Spring 2020 graduates, congratulations. Despite this being an extraordinary time for our university and our world, you have proven that Knights can always be counted on to rise to every occasion, no matter the obstacles. I am sorry that your semester did not end as any of us planned, but I hope you know that your perseverance is inspiring and the grit and can-do attitude you've shown these past few weeks and the past few years will help you succeed in whatever you have planned next. Your excellence is defined by your ability to rally around these challenges and to excel in trying times. Just as we celebrate you today, we also recognize your family and friends and all of your faculty and staff mentors who have helped you along the way. We are all so proud of what you have accomplished. And we look forward to celebrating this milestone with you in person when the time is right. Until then, to UCF's newest alumni, go Knights and charge on.